Welcome back. In a first of its kind, a new air monitor has been created that detects COVID-19 in around five minutes. This groundbreaking technology could impact how we handle future pandemics and advance public health as we know it. Created by a team of researchers from both the engineering and medical schools at the Washington University in St. Louis. So joining us now is one of those researchers, Joseph Pudichetti, a postdoctoral research associate at Washington University in St. Louis. We also heard that you're a University of Illinois alum. So good morning to you, Joseph. Thank you so much for joining us and explain to us how you see this technology being used. Hey, uh, first of all, thank you for having me. So uh, this technology which we built, it's very, very similar to something like a smoke detector, which you have in your buildings. But this device, it detects the viruses and it can do that in like less than five minutes. So you can install this in airports, hospitals, uh, office spaces, or basically any crowded indoor location where you expect high risk of virus transmission. Incredible. So how can this help individuals make their own decisions and navigate risk, especially for people who are immunocompromised? Oh, excellent question. So this this device will uh, help the immunocompromised section of the population and also any people, any group who are at high risk of getting this disease. For example, uh, let's say you have these, this uh, device installed at different locations. You can, and if you get this data, you can you know, tr plan your travel. Like if there is a high risk of virus uh, transmission in, the, in that location, you can avoid those areas. Or uh, alternatively, if there is, if this device is detecting frequent virus in a certain location, you can ask the occupants there to wear masks. And most importantly, this gives you like a, a peace of mind. Like, for example, if you're someone who gets stressed about going to a public location because of getting infected, then if you have this uh, device, you can be assured that this location is safe. And peace of mind, man, that is worth its weight in gold for sure. So right now, this is for COVID-19 specifically, but the plan, of course, is also to detect other viruses. So how exactly does this capture something so small like a virus that is just in the air? So uh, this uh, device which we built, it's like very easily modifiable. So we use something like a biosensor, which specifically detects the SARS-CoV-2 protein. Now we can, in the next version, we plan to modify this biosensor such that it can detect other viruses like influenza or RSV. And to capture these viruses, so these viruses are like really small, 60 nanometer to let's say 180 nanometer in diameter. So we use something called cyclone technology. So how this works is the devices like an inverted cone uh, device and the air enters tangentially at really high velocities and because of the geometry and the suction the air and particles they start swirling inside the device and spiraling down now the centrifugal forces acting inside separate these particles now what we do is we have a liquid filled inside the cyclone so when these particles start swirling around it gets trapped in this liquid and we do this for like five minutes to get a really concentrated virus liquid mixture which is then sent to the biosensor using some automated pumps uh, which, uh, by which we detect the virus wow joseph that is fascinating especially with the visual element just to see how quickly that the virus in the air is just sucked into it so interesting. Uh, we know that the past three years, of course, have proven change is very difficult for a lot of people. So how would you pitch to businesses the importance of investing in technology like this? Yeah. So, you know, uh, what this pandemic has taught us is that the world in general was unprepared in handling infectious viruses. For example, single virus like SARS-CoV-2 forced countries worldwide to go in lockdown mode. So at that time, if we had a technology like this, we could have, you know, it could have uh, used as an early warning system or, uh, you know, when you, if you invest in technologies like this, we can be pre better prepared for future pandemic. And uh, this will also help in uh, minimizing disruption to businesses and also help keep the community safe by preventing community spreads and better disease management in general. Sounds like an easy pitch to me. So looking ahead, what can you imagine the future of this technology to be? Yeah, so the future, you know, I think we will, uh, with some technological innovations, we can make like really compact devices. So for now, you, you must have seen a lot of uh, compact CO2 sensors, particle sensors, so something similar, some like a wearable gadget where you can wear it around and 
in real time you're getting the air quality around you and you'll know if there is virus around you. So that'll be a really cool technology to have. Joseph, thank you so much for your time this morning. One last quick question. How does it feel to be able to develop something that you understand could be so um, helpful in the public health space? It's, it's like, you know, as a scientist, I'm really happy this will be beneficial to the people. And uh, it's kind of really rewarding. Yeah. And, uh, and you, I got, I got, like, you get to be a part of this incredible team too, like work. This uh, COVID is like highly interdisciplinary. So you need a lot of medical expertise, uh, engineering, and we combine together. And then finally, this is something which is applicable to the public in general. So this is like an amazing project to be a part of. Very ap applicable for sure. Joseph, thank you so much for your time this morning. That was Joseph Pudashetti, a postdoctoral research associate at Washington University in St. Louis. Thank you. Thank you.